Yes. Anna Pandensky from the reporter. I have a question to Mrs. Zimmer. Our, as I understood you, you don't consider the current procedure of our, our new British settlement a democratic one. So um, how you would propose uh, the new settlement should be our discussed and our, um, how you would see this process as a democratic process? What is your proposal? Ich kann das ganz kurz sagen. Es geht um die Beteiligung auch des Parlaments. Well, the Parliament needs to das be Parlament involved. ist in diesem Zwischenschritt that. jetzt nicht beteiligt. Es ist uns erklärt worden, es handelt sich praktisch jetzt nur um technische We've been told Abstimmungen, die am this Wochenende is just, vorzunehmen uh, sind. Technical adjustments that are going to be done over the weekend, and Parliament is going to simply have to take note of what is negotiated on the 17th and 18th of February, as no treaty changes are planned, as it's, uh, as it's all being done through secondary law rather than primary law. With mere promises regarding future treaty change and how these things will automatically be included, then the question of EU Parliament participation is, is a key one. And I, and I really think that the Parliament shouldn't be shut out of the procedure, but it's clearly deliberate. It's clearly something the UK government wanted. Cameron's line is that the European Parliament should have a subordinate role to the member state institutions. And I see here that there is clearly no further democratization or integration plan in the EU. I think that's going to be den, den quite a controversial point. Uh, I think it'll be difficult um, to reach agreement in council. council. Some heads of finden. state and government are not oh, going to be happy with this, but leaving the European Parliament out is no good either. <laughs> 